Hey everybody, it's Brett, and today I am extremely excited to go over this brand new 2023 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Daytona 392 Edition. This is stock number 23D164. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Dodge and Dodge Charger headquarters. And excited to do this video just because this is a last call edition. This is the last year that you can get a Dodge Charger with the 6.4 Hemi in it, gasoline powered engine. Uh, they're gonna be doing hybrid models and stuff like that. So this is the, might be the absolute last Scat Pack Daytona package that we ever see here at Summit Automotive. So I wanted to get a video of this because it's brand new and these might be collector cars someday. So I'm gonna go all the way around and show you all the options. We're gonna take a look under the hood. We're gonna start it up, listen to the exhaust show you the interior and just the designs on this one. Speaking of that 6.4 Hemi, you get 485 horsepower, 475 foot-pounds of torque. It's gonna get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway. So if you're doing a lot of highway driving, this might be a car to consider. 15 city and an average of 18 miles per gallon. Everything under the hood that you need to touch is in yellow. You get the Mopar cold air intake here. You get the powered by SRT valve covers there. And then you get the charger last call badge right there. That blue is a protective film over that so it doesn't get scratched or anything. We leave that on for the first owner to take off or they can leave it on. But kind of sad that these cars are going away as we know them. 6.4, there's your emissions sticker. Um, but, like I said, we're going to start this up in just a little bit, so stick around for that. Now, you don't know that it's a Daytona package, um, other than this badge right here and then the stickers or the graphics on the back of the vehicle. It does have the true cowl induction hood, which I like. It has a black Hemi decal on the hood, too. All these LED lights are super bright. I'm gonna turn those on at the end of the video, so stick around for that. You get these special, I'm sure they're special Daytona wheels. Um, they're nice and black. You get the black Brembo brakes. It has Pirelli P0 Nero tire, all season tires. These are 275 40 ZR20s. You get the 392 decals on the side, so those are decals. If you didn't like them, you could take them off. I don't know why you would do that on a potential collector car such as this. It also has the vinyl wrapped roof. So that looks pretty good as well. And then you get the Daytona graphics on the side here. Once again, those are just decals. I guess if you didn't like them, you could take them off, but what's the point of getting a Daytona then? Get the chrome tip dual rear exhaust, the LED tail lamps, the backup parking sensors. But I wanna show, show you the original window sticker here so you can see everything that the Daytona package has to offer and the standard Scat Pack package here. So 2023 Charger Scat Pack Daytona 392. Destroyer gray is the color on this one. Paint code is PDN, if you were wondering. The interior is the Daytona logo Napa and the Alcantara seats, which I'll show you those in just a minute. Probably my favorite part of the Daytona package. Everything on the left there is your standard equipment for the Scat Pack package. And then the optional equipment starts right here with the Destroyer Gray exterior paint, which is 95 bucks. The Daytona Edition Group, or 21W, so that's the package name, and it's a da Daytona Edition Group, $5,885. Get the 20 inch by nine and a half low gloss black knurled wheel the Daytona Logo Napa Alcantara seats, the ventilated front seats, black edge premium floor mats, blind spot indicator with memory power and heated mirrors, gloss black instrument cluster trim rings, premium stitch dash panel, cold air intake system by Mopar, so that cold air is part of the Daytona package, power front driver and passenger seats, two-way power lumbar adjustable seat, passenger seat, um, driver and passenger lower LED lamps, front overhead LED lighting, exterior mirrors with courtesy lamps, memory for radio, driver's seat and exterior mirrors, automatic adjust and reverse exterior mirrors, Daytona decals, hood, roof and trunk, 
392 Fender decal. So the 392 decal is part of the Daytona group. Daytona instrument panel badge, Daytona front grille badge, power tilt telescopic steering wheel, the all season Pirelli tires, blind spot and cross path detection, locking lug nuts, carbonite interior accents, which those are pretty cool. I'll show you those in a second. And then um, the power sunroof is a $1,295 option. Total price is $60,795 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this car and availability in the upper right hand part of the screen as well as linked in the description below is a link to this vehicle on our website to get all that pricing information. And if it says sold in the title, then it's probably sold. If it doesn't say it's sold in the title, then it might be available. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. And then there's your miles per gallon, your greenhouse and smog ratings, and then safety ratings. The Chargers have always been very safe vehicles, five and four stars up and down the board with a five star overall vehicle score. Definitely feel safe driving your family around in this. There is the D Daytona badge on the dash. So we'll get to the interior here in just a second because it's my favorite part of the car. You get the low gloss spoiler on here. You get the trunk popper right there, which is nice. There's your locking lug nut kit that comes with this car. Uh, tire inflator kit and there is your battery. Those seats do fold down for extra storage. Can't wait to start this thing up. It does have the capless fuel fill, which is really sweet, but let's get to that interior. So the Napa leather with the Alcantara and the Daytona stitched into the backrest. Very good looking. You get these kind of the ribbed effect on the seats. Really like that. Auto headlamps, uh, power tilt, and telescopic steering wheel. And then you get those uh, power windows, locks and mirrors, memory driver seat, Alpine premium sound system. But let's check out that Alcan or the uh, Carbonite trim pieces here. So you get that around the dash, around the radio, around the instrument cluster is this Carbonite. It's actually textured. So that's kind of neat. And then it's around the center console for the shifter here. I don't know if we can get, you can kind of see the um, etching on there, I guess you could say the texture of it. Let's turn the radio on, or turn the ignition on, I should say, which will turn the radio on. You get the charger animation there. Digital speedometer, um, you get your digital odometer there. And also you can change those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. Instrument cluster looks really good. Um, nothing too that says Daytona on the instrument cluster. A little bit disappointed in that. Has the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise controls on the right. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. Paddle shifters on the back and audio controls. Nice thing about Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, Jeep. All their steering wheels are pretty much identical. All the controls are very similar. So you can go from vehicle to vehicle in any of the lineups and know what you're doing. All the radios are very similar. And uh, this one has the Uconnect 4C radio. So it has AM, FM and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You get your heated seats, cooled seats and heated steering wheel controls. Your climate controls are here as well. You get all your different apps, including the performance pages. Projection manager, you can project your cell phone to the screen. So while this one doesn't have the factory navigation system, it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay where you can project your cell phone up there. If you've got a nav system on your phone, such as Waze or Google Maps, put it right up there. It's like you have nav on the screen. I did a demo on Android Auto. I think that works way better than the factory nav in these radios. And the problem with these radios um, on a used side that we see a lot is that navigation system after a while goes bad doesn't even know where you are anymore um that stops working for no reason then you got to get a whole new radio there's no reprogramming it or anything it's really kind of a headache on the used end but um so i prefer it not to have the nav in the radio i like doing it with the android auto uh just protect project your ways or google maps up there and it's really easy to use let's go to the performance pages they take a second to load so while they're loading you get your push button start your climate volume and tune controls um there as well, including your dual climate controls, eight speed automatic shifter. You get this storage area, I guess, for your key fob. 
has remote start on there, which we're going to remote start in just a second. You get the illuminated cup holders. And really too much, not too much inside that really says, you know, Daytona on it. A little disappointed. I wish there was more. Would maybe even consider this car if it had more um, stuff to it, making it a Daytona worthy of the 59 or $5,800, maybe like a numbered car. They used to number them. I wish they still numbered them. Personal preference. It doesn't take anything away from this car. So here's your performance pages. You get your home screen, you get your timers, um, the different gauges on there. You can change these widgets out to be other stuff. You can take pictures of it. You get your G-Force, your engine, and your dyno, of course. Uh, when it's running, of course, that'll work better. Um, see if I can show you anything else otherwise that's pretty much everything on you get your different SRT modes so you can do track sport custom set it up any way you want um, steering so it's a little bit tighter and sport mode uh, paddle shifters if they're on or off and just all the different stuff that you can do there really cool radio all right so I'm gonna go start it up and then we'll listen to that exhaust and then I'm going to turn on all the lights, like I said, and uh, do a final walk around on the car. Actually, we'll turn the lights off, start it up, and then we'll turn them on. I don't want to mess up the remote start here. So I got to have it locked. And I'm going to grab my microphone here. And then you're going to press start twice. love how the 6.4 Hemi sounds. One of my favorite sounding engines by far. Uh, you can really, you can even feel, you know, the engine going by standing back there. So now to get it actually started, you gotta have the key inside, put your foot on the brake, press start, and now it's actually started. Now we can go take a look at all those lights in the front. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to get a really good idea of the overall options, looks, and styling on this particular Dodge Charger. You can see those LED lights are very bright. Also, one thing to note, these uh, bumper guards, they're actually screwed on underneath, but you can take those off obviously, but some people like keeping them on. Let me know in the comments below what you prefer. Um, I think if I owned the car, I'd leave them on. Anyways, we'll do a final walk around here with all the lights on, and I personally like to thank you for checking out the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember to like, subscribe, and share to the YouTube channel. Very good looking car. Unfortunately, the last call for the Dodge Charger with the Scat Pack 6.4 liter V8 Hemi. And to see more pictures of this car or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, sports cars, Chargers, Challengers, Mustangs, Camaros, Corvettes, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. If you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and sports car walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Dodge Charger cars I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2023 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Daytona 392 Edition in Destroyer Gray Clear Coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Let me know what you think in the description below or in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. Until next time.